The Book of Joel, from the Basic Bible, Old Testament, translated by S. H. Hook. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 1 The Word of the Lord which came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Give ear to this, you old men, and take note, you people of the land. Has this ever been in your days, or in the days of your fathers? Give the story of it to your children, and let them give it to their children, and their children to another generation. What the worm did not make a meal of has been taken by the locust, and what the locust did not take has been food for the plant worm, and what the plant worm did not take has been food for the field fly. Come out of your sleep, you who are overcome with wine, and give yourselves to weeping. Give cries of sorrow, all you drinkers of wine, because of the sweet wine, for it has been cut off from your mouths. For a nation has come up over my land, strong and without number. His teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he has the back teeth of a great lion. By him my vine is made waste, and my fig tree broken. He has taken all its fruit and sent it down to the earth. Its branches are made white. Make sounds of grief like a virgin dressed in haircloth for the husband of her early years. The meal offering and the drink offering have been cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests, the Lord's servants, are sorrowing. The fields are wasted. The land has become dry, for the grain is wasted. The new wine is kept back. The oil is poor. The farmers are shamed. The workers in the vine gardens give cries of grief for the wheat and the barley for the produce of the fields has come to destruction. The vine has become dry, and the fig tree is feeble. The pomegranate and the palm tree and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are dry, because joy has gone from the sons of men. Put haircloth round you, and give yourselves to sorrow, you priests. Give cries of grief, you servants of the altar. Come in, and clothed in haircloth, let the night go past, you servants of my God, for the meal offering and the drink offering have been kept back from the house of your God. Let a time be fixed for going without food. Have a holy meeting. Let the old men, even all the people of the land, come together to the house of the Lord your God, crying out to the Lord, Sorrow for the day, for the day of the Lord is near, and as destruction from the ruler of all it will come. Is not food cut off before our eyes, joy and delight from the house of our God? The grains have become small and dry under the spade, the storehouses are made waste, the grain stores are broken down, for the grain is dry and dead. What sounds of pain come from the beasts? The herds of cattle are at a loss because there is no grass for them. Even the flocks of sheep are no longer to be seen. O oh Lord! My cry goes up to you, for fire has put an end to the grasslands of the waste, and all the trees of the field are burned with its flame. The beasts of the field are turning to you with desire, for the water streams are dry, and fire has put an end to the grasslands of the waste. Chapter 2 Let the horn be sounded in Zion, and a war cry in my holy mountain, let all the people of the land be troubled, for the day of the Lord is coming. For a day of dark and deep shade is near, a day of cloud and black night. Like a black cloud, a great and strong people is covering the mountains. There has never been any like them, and will not be after them again, from generation to generation. Before them fire sends destruction, and after them flame is burning. The land is like the Garden of Eden before them, and after them an unpeopled waste. Truly nothing has been kept safe from them. Their form is like the form of horses, and they are running like war horses. Like the sound of war carriages they go jumping on the tops of the mountains, like the noise of a flame of fire burning up the grain stems, like a strong people lined up for the fight. At their coming the people are bent with pain, all faces become red together. They are running like strong men. They go over the wall like men of war. Every man goes straight on his way. Their lines are not broken. No one is pushing against another. Everyone goes straight on his way, bursting through the sword points. Their order is not broken. 
They make a rush on the town, running on the wall. They go up into the houses and in through the windows like a thief. The earth is troubled before them, and the heavens are shaking. The sun and the moon have become dark, and the stars keep back their shining. And the Lord is thundering before his forces, for very great is his army, for he is strong who gives effect to his word. For the day of the Lord is great, and greatly to be feared, and who has strength against it? But even now, says the Lord, come back to me with all your heart, keeping from food, with weeping and with sorrow. Let your hearts be broken, and not your clothing, and come back to the Lord your God. For he is full of grace and pity, slow to be angry and great in mercy, ready to be turned from his purpose of punishment. May it not be that he will again let his purpose be changed, and let a blessing come after him, even a meal offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God? Let a horn be sounded in Zion, let a time be fixed for going without food. Have a holy meeting, get the people together, make the mass of the people holy, send for the old men, get together the children and babies at the breast. Let the newly married man come out of his room and the bride from her tent. Let the priests, the servants of the Lord, be weeping between the covered way and the altar, and let them say, Have mercy on your people, O Lord. Do not give up your heritage to shame, so that the nations become their rulers. Why let them say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord had a care for the honor of his land, and had pity on his people. And the Lord made answer and said to his people, See, I will send you grain and wine and oil in full measure, and I will no longer let you be shamed among the nations. I will send the one from the north far away from you, driving him into a dry and waste land, with his front to the sea of the east, and his back to the sea of the west, and the smell of him will go up, even his evil smell will go up. Have no fear, O land, be glad with great joy, for the Lord has done great things. Have no fear, you beasts of the field, for the grasslands of the waste are becoming green, for the trees are producing fruit, the fig tree and the vine give out their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and have joy in the Lord your God, for he gives you food in full measure, making the rain come down for you, the early and the late rain as at the first. And the floors will be full of grain, and the crushing places overflowing with wine and oil. I will give back to you the years which were food for the locust, the plant worm, the field fly, and the worm, my great army which I sent among you. You will have food in full measure, and give praise to the name of the Lord your God, who has done wonders for you. And you will be certain that I am in Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is no other, and my people will never be shamed. And after that it will come about, says the Lord, that I will send my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will be prophets, your old men will have dreams, your young men will see visions. And on the servants and the servant girls in those days I will send my Spirit, and I will let wonders be seen in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun will be made dark and the moon turned to blood before the great day of the Lord comes, a day to be feared. And it will be that whoever makes his prayer to the name of the Lord will be kept safe. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem some will be kept safe, as the Lord has said, and will be among the small band marked out by the Lord. Chapter 3 For in those days and in that time, when I let the fate of Judah and Jerusalem be changed, I will get together all the nations and make them come down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And there I will take up with them the cause of my people and of my heritage Israel, whom they have sent wandering among the nations, and of my land which has been parted by them. And they have put the fate of my people to the decision of chance, giving a boy for the price of a loose woman, and a girl for a drink of wine. And further, what are you to me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the circle of Philistia? Will you give me back any payment? And if you do... Quickly and suddenly I will send it back on your head. For you have taken my silver and my gold, putting in the houses of your gods my beautiful and pleasing things. 
and the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem you have given for a price to the sons of the Greeks to send them far away from their land. See, I will have them moved from the place where you have sent them, and will let what you have done come back on your head. I will give your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah for a price, and they will give them for a price to the men of Sheba, a nation far off, for the Lord has said it. Give this out among the nations, make ready for war, get the strong men awake, let all the men of war come near, let them come up. Get your plow blades hammered into swords, and your vine knives into spears, let the feeble say, I am strong. Come quickly, all you nations round about, and get yourselves together there. Make your strong ones come down, O Lord. Let the nations be awake, and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will be seated as judge of all the nations round about. Put in the blade, for the grain is ready. Come, get you down, for the wine crusher is full, the vessels are overflowing, for great is their evil doing. Masses on masses in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon have become dark, and the stars keep back their shining, and the Lord will be thundering from Zion, and his voice will be sounding from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth will be shaking. But the Lord will be a breastplate for his people, and a strong place for the children of Israel. And you will be certain that I am the Lord your God, living in Zion, my holy mountain, and Jerusalem will be holy, and no strange person will ever again go through her. And it will come about in that day that the mountains will be dropping sweet wine, and the hills will be flowing with milk, and all the streams of Judah will be flowing with water, and a fountain will come out from the house of the Lord, watering the valley of acacia trees. Egypt will be a waste, and Edom a land of destruction, because of the evil done to the children of Judah, because they have let blood be drained out in their land without cause. But Judah will be peopled forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. And I will send punishment for their blood, for which punishment has not been sent. For the Lord is living in Zion. The End of the Book of Joel Recording by Mark Penfold The Book of Amos From the Basic Bible, Old Testament This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold Chapter 1 The Words of Amos, who was among the herdsmen of Tekoa what he saw about Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earth shock. And he said, The Lord will give a lion's cry from Zion, his voice will be sounding from Jerusalem, and the fields of the keepers of sheep will become dry, and the top of Carmel will be wasted away. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Damascus, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because they have been crushing Gilead with iron grain crushing instruments, and I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, burning up the great houses of Ben-Hadad, and I will have the locks of the door of Damascus broken, and him who is seated in power cut off from the valley of Aven, and him in whose hand is the rod from the house of Eden, and the people of Aram will go away as prisoners into Kir, says the Lord. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Gaza, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because they took all the people away prisoners to give them up to Edom, and I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, burning up its great houses. Him who is seated in power I will have cut off from Ashdod, and him in whose hand is the rod from Ashkelon, and my hand will be turned against Ekron, and the rest of the Philistines will come to destruction, says the Lord God. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Tyre, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because they gave up all the people prisoners to Edom, without giving a thought to the brothers' agreement between them and I will send a fire on the wall of Tyre, burning up its great houses. These are the words of the Lord. 
for three crimes of Edom, and for four I will not let its fate be changed, because his sword was turned against his brother without pity, and his wrath was burning at all times, and he was angry for ever. And I will send a fire on Teman, burning up the great houses of Bozrah. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of the children of Ammon, and for four I will not let its fate be changed because in Gilead they had women with child cut open, so that they might make wider the limits of their land. And I will make a fire in the wall of Rabbah, burning up its great houses with loud cries in the days of war, with a storm in the day of the great wind. And their king will be made prisoner, he and his captains together, says the Lord. Chapter 2 These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Moab, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because he had the bones of the king of Edom burned to dust. And I will send a fire on Moab, burning up the great houses of Kiriath, and death will come on Moab with noise and outcries and the sound of the horn, and I will have the judge cut off from among them, and all their captains I will put to death with him, says the Lord. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Judah, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because they have given up the law of the Lord, and have not kept his rules. And their false ways, in which their fathers went, have made them go out of the right way. And I will send a fire on Judah, burning up the great houses of Jerusalem. These are the words of the Lord. For three crimes of Israel, and for four, I will not let its fate be changed, because they have given the upright man for silver, and the poor for the price of two shoes, crushing the head of the poor, and turning the steps of the gentle out of the way, and a man and his father go into the same young woman, putting shame on my holy name. By every altar they are stretched on clothing taken from those who are in their debt, drinking in the house of their God the wine of those who have made payment for wrongdoing. Though I sent destruction on the Amorite before them, who was tall as the cedar and strong as the oak tree, cutting off his fruit from on high and his roots from under the earth. And I took you up out of the land of Egypt, guiding you for forty years in the wasteland, so that you might take for your heritage the land of the Amorite, and some of your sons I made prophets, and some of your young men I made separate for myself. Is it not even so, O children of Israel, says the Lord? But to those who were separate you gave wine for drink, and to the prophets you said, Be prophets no longer. See, I am crushing you down as one is crushed under a cart full of grain." and flight will be impossible for the quick-footed, and the force of the strong will become feeble, and the man of war will not get away safely, and the bowman will not keep his place. He who is quick-footed will not get away safely, and the horseman will not keep his life. And he who is without fear among the fighting men will go in flight without his clothing in that day, says the Lord. Chapter 3 Give ear to this word which the Lord has said against you, O children of Israel, against all the family which I took up out of the land of Egypt, saying, You only of all the families of the earth have I taken care of. For this reason I will send punishment on you for all your sins. Is it possible for two to go walking together, if not by agreement? Will a lion give his loud cry in the woodland when no food is there? Will the voice of the young lion be sounding from his hole if he has taken nothing? Is it possible for a bird to be taken in a net on the earth where no net has been put for him? Will the net come up from the earth if it has taken nothing at all? If the horn is sounded in the town, will the people not be full of fear? Will evil come on a town if the Lord has not done it? Certainly the Lord will do nothing without making clear his secret to his servants, the prophets. The cry of the lion is sounding, Who will not have fear? The Lord God has said the word. Is it possible for the prophet to keep quiet? 
Give out the news in the great houses of Assyria and in the land of Egypt, and say, Come together on the mountains of Samaria, and see what great outcries are there, and what cruel acts are done in it. For they have no knowledge of how to do what is right, says the Lord, who are storing up violent acts and destruction in their great houses. For this reason, says the Lord, an attacker will come, shutting in the land on every side, and your strength will come down, and your great houses will be made waste. These are the words of the Lord. As the keeper of sheep takes out of the mouth of the lion two legs or part of an ear, so will the children of Israel be made safe who are resting in Samaria on seats of honor or on the silk cushions of a bed. Give ear now, and give witness against the family of Jacob, says the Lord God, the God of armies. For in the day when I give Israel punishment for his sins, I will send punishment on the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar will be cut off and come down to the earth. And I will send destruction on the winter house with the summer house. The ivory houses will be falling down, and the great houses will come to an end, says the Lord. Chapter 4 Give ear to this word, you cows of Bashan, who are in the hill of Samaria, by whom the poor are kept down, and those in need are crushed, who say to their lords, Get out the wine and give us drink. The Lord God has taken an oath by his holy name that the days are coming when they will take you away with hooks and the rest of you with fish hooks, and you will go out through the broken places, every one going straight before her, and you will be sent into Harman, says the Lord. Come to Bethel and do evil, to Gilgal, increasing the number of your sins. Come with your offerings every morning and your tenths every three days. Let that which is leavened be burned as a praise offering. Let the news of your free offerings be given out publicly. For this is pleasing to you, O children of Israel, says the Lord. But in all your towns I have kept food from your teeth, and in all your places there has been need of bread. And still you have not come back to me, says the Lord. And I have kept back the rain from you, when it was still three months before the grain cutting. I sent rain on one town, and kept it back from another. One part was rained on, and the part where there was no rain became a waste. So two or three towns went wandering to one town looking for water, and did not get enough. And still you have not come back to me, says the Lord. I have sent destruction on your fields by burning and disease. The increase of your gardens and your vine gardens, your fig trees and your olive trees, has been food for worms. And still you have not come back to me, says the Lord. I have sent disease among you, as it was in Egypt. I have put your young men to the sword, and have taken away your horses. I have made the evil smell from your tents come up to your noses. And still you have not come back to me, says the Lord. And I have sent destruction among you, as when God sent destruction on Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a burning stick pulled out of the fire, and still you have not come back to me, says the Lord. So this is what I will do to you, O Israel, and because I will do this to you, be ready for a meeting with your God, O Israel. For see, he who gave form to the mountains and made the wind, giving knowledge of his purpose to man, who makes the morning dark, and is walking on the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of armies, is his name. Chapter 5 Give ear to this word, my song of sorrow over you, O children of Israel. The virgin of Israel has been made low, never again to be lifted up. She is stretched out by herself on her land. There is no one to put her on her feet again. For these are the words of the Lord God. The town which was able to send out a thousand will have only a hundred, and that which sent out a hundred will have only ten in Israel. For these are the words of the Lord to the children of Israel. Let your hearts be turned to me so that you may have life. 
Do not be looking for help to Bethel, and do not go to Gilgal or make your way to Beersheba, for Gilgal will certainly be taken prisoner, and Bethel will come to nothing. Go to the Lord for help, so that you may have life, for fear that he may come like fire bursting out in the family of Joseph, causing destruction, and there will be no one to put it out in Bethel. You who make the work of judging a bitter thing, crushing down righteousness to the earth, go for help to him who makes Orion and the Pleiades, by whom the deep dark is turned into morning, who makes the day black with night, whose voice goes out to the waters of the sea, sending them out over the face of the earth. The Lord is his name, who sends sudden destruction on the strong, so that destruction comes on the walled town. They have hate for him who makes protest against evil in the public place, and he whose words are upright is disgusting to them. So because the poor man is crushed under your feet, and you take taxes from him of grain, you have made for yourselves houses of cut stone, but you will not take your rest in them. The fair vine gardens planted by your hands will not give you wine, for I have seen how your evil doing is increased, and how strong are your sins, you troublers of the upright, who take rewards and do wrong to the cause of the poor in the public place. So the wise will say nothing in that time, for it is an evil time. Go after good and not evil, so that life may be yours, and so the Lord, the God of armies, will be with you as you say. Be haters of evil and lovers of good, and let right be done in the public place. It may be that the Lord, the God of armies, will have mercy on the rest of Joseph. So these are the words of the Lord, the God of armies, the Lord. There will be weeping in all the open spaces, and in all the streets they will say, Sorrow! Sorrow! And they will get in the farmer to the weeping, and the makers of sad songs to give cries of grief. In all the vine gardens there will be cries of grief, for I will go through among you, says the Lord. Sorrow to you who are looking for the day of the Lord. What is the day of the Lord to you? It is dark and not light, as if a man running away from a lion came face to face with a bear, or went into the house and put his hand on the wall and got a bite from a snake. Will not the day of the Lord be dark and not light, even very dark, with no light shining in it? Your feasts are disgusting to me. I will have nothing to do with them. I will take no delight in your holy meetings. Even if you give me your burned offerings and your meal offerings, I will not take pleasure in them. I will have nothing to do with the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take away from me the noise of your songs. My ears are shut to the melody of your instruments. But let the right go rolling on like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Did you come to me with offerings of beasts and meal offerings in the wasteland for forty years, O Israel? Truly you will take up Sakuth your king, and Kaiwan your images, the star of your God which you made for yourselves, and I will send you away as prisoners farther than Damascus, says the Lord, whose name is the God of armies. Chapter 6 Sorrow to those who are resting in comfort in Zion, and to those who have no fear of danger in the mountain of Samaria, the noted men of the chief of the nations to whom the people of Israel come. Go on to Kalna and see, and from there go to Hamath the great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Are you better than these kingdoms, or is your land wider than theirs? You who put far away the evil day, causing the rule of the violent to come near, who are resting on beds of ivory, stretched out on soft seats, feasting on lambs from the flock and young oxen from the cattle-house, making foolish songs to the sound of corded instruments, and designing for themselves instruments of music like David, drinking wine in basins, rubbing themselves with the best oils. But they have no grief for the destruction of Joseph. So now they will go away prisoners with the first of those who are made prisoners, and the loud cry of those who were stretched out will come to an end. The Lord God has taken an oath by himself, says the Lord, the God of armies. 
The pride of Jacob is disgusting to me, and I have hate for his great houses. So I will give up the town with everything in it. Then it will come about that if there are still ten men in a house, death will overtake them. And when a man's relation, even the one who is responsible for burning his body, lifting him up to take his bones out of the house, says to him who is in the inmost part of the house, Is there still any one with you? And he says, No. Then he will say, Keep quiet, for the name of the Lord may not be named. For see, at the order of the Lord the great house will be full of cracks, and the little house will be broken. Is it possible for horses to go running on the rock? May the sea be ploughed with oxen, for the right to be turned by you into poison, and the fruit of righteousness into a bitter plant? You whose joy is in a thing of no value, who say, Have we not taken for ourselves horns by the strength which is ours? For see, I will send against you a nation, O Israel, says the Lord, the God of armies, ruling you cruelly from the way into Hamath, as far as the stream of the Arabah. Chapter 7 This is what the Lord God let me see. And I saw that, when the growth of the late grass was starting, he made locusts. It was the late growth after the king's cutting was done. And it came about that after they had taken all the grass of the land, I said, O oh Lord God, have mercy! How will Jacob be able to keep his place? For he is small. The Lord, changing his purpose about this, said, It will not be. This is what the Lord let me see. And I saw that the Lord God sent for a great fire to be the instrument of his punishment. And after burning up the great deep, it was about to put an end to the Lord's heritage. Then said I, O Lord God, let there be an end. How will Jacob be able to keep his place? For he is small. The Lord, changing his purpose about this, said, And this will not be. This is what he let me see. And I saw the Lord stationed by a wall made straight by a weighted line, and he had a weighted line in his hand. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, A weighted line. Then the Lord said, See, I will let down a weighted line among my people Israel. Never again will my eyes be shut to their sin. And the high places of Isaac will be unpeopled, and the holy places of Israel will be made waste. And I will come up against the family of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos has made designs against you among the people of Israel. The land is troubled by his words. For Amos has said, Jeroboam will be put to the sword, and Israel will certainly be taken away as a prisoner out of his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go in flight into the land of Judah and there get your living by working as a prophet. But be a prophet no longer at Bethel, for it is the holy place of the king and the king's house. Then Amos in answer said to Amaziah, I am no prophet, or one of the sons of the prophets. I am a herdman, and one who takes care of sycamore trees. And the Lord took me from the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go, be a prophet to my people Israel, now then, give ear to the word of the Lord. You say, Be no prophet to Israel, and say not a word against the people of Isaac. So this is what the Lord has said. Your wife will be a loose woman in the town, and your sons and your daughters will be put to the sword, and your land will be cut up into parts by a line, and you yourself will come to your end in an unclean land, and Israel will certainly be taken away a prisoner out of his land. Chapter 8 This is what the Lord God let me see, and I saw a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what do you see? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. 
Then the Lord said to me, The end has come to my people Israel. Never again will my eyes be shut to their sin. And the songs of the king's house will be cries of pain in that day, says the Lord God. Great will be the number of the dead bodies, and everywhere they will put them out without a word. Give ear to this, you who are crushing the poor, and whose purpose is to put an end to those who are in need in the land, saying, When will the new moon be gone, so that we may do trade in grain? And the Sabbath, so that we may put out in the market the produce of our fields, making the measure small and the price great, and trading falsely with scales of deceit, getting the poor for silver, and him who is in need for the price of two shoes, and taking a price for the waste parts of the grain. The Lord has taken an oath by the pride of Jacob. Truly I will ever keep in mind all their works. Will not the land be shaking with fear because of this, and every one in it have sorrow? And all of it will be overflowing like the river, and it will be troubled and go down again like the river of Egypt. And it will come about in that day, says the Lord God, that I will make the sun go down in the middle of the day, and I will make the earth dark in daylight. Your feasts will be turned into sorrow, and all your melody into songs of grief. Every one will be clothed with haircloth, and the hair of every head will be cut. I will make the weeping like that for an only son, and the end of it like a bitter day. See, the days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send times of great need on the land, not need of food or desire for water, but for hearing the words of the Lord. And they will go wandering from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, running here and there in search of the word of the Lord, and they will not get it. In that day the fair virgins and the young men will be feeble from need of water. Those who make their oaths by the sin of Samaria, and say, By the life of your God, O Dan, and by the living way of Beersheba, even they will go down, never again to be lifted up. Chapter 9 I saw the Lord stationed by the side of the altar, giving blows to the tops of the pillars, so that the doorsteps were shaking. And he said, I will let all of them be broken with earth shocks. I will put the last of them to the sword. If any one of them goes in flight, he will not get away. Not one of them will be safe. Even if they go deep into the underworld, my hand will take them up from there. If they go up to heaven, I will get them down. Though they take cover on the top of Carmel, I will go in search of them and get them out. Though they keep themselves from my eyes in the bed of the sea, I will give orders to the great snake there, and he will give them a bite. And though they are taken away as prisoners by their attackers, even there will I give orders to the sword to put them to death. My eyes will be fixed on them for evil and not for good. For the Lord, the God of armies, is he at whose touch the land is turned to water, and every one in it will be given up to sorrow. All of it will be overflowing like the river, and will go down again like the river of Egypt. It is he who makes his rooms in the heaven, basing his arch on the earth, whose voice goes out to the waters of the sea, and sends them flowing over the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Are you not as the children of the Ethiopians to me, O children of Israel? says the Lord. Have I not taken Israel up out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Kaphtor, and the Arameans from Kir? See, the eyes of the Lord are on the evil kingdom, and I will put an end to it in all the earth. But I will not send complete destruction on Jacob, says the Lord. For see, I will give orders, and I will have Israel moved about among all the nations, as grain is moved about by the shaking of the tray, but not the smallest seed will be dropped on the earth. All those sinners among my people will be put to the sword, who say, Evil will not overtake us, or come face to face with us. 
In that day I will put up the tent of David which has come down, and make good its broken places, and I will put up again his damaged walls, building it up as in the past, so that the rest of Edom may be their heritage, and all the nations who have been named by my name, says the Lord, who is doing this. See, the days will come, says the Lord, when the plowman will overtake him who is cutting the grain, and the crusher of the grapes him who is planting seed, and sweet wine will be dropping from the mountains, and the hills will be turned into streams of wine, and I will let the fate of my people Israel be changed, and they will be building up again the waste towns and living in them. They will again be planting vine gardens and taking the wine for their drink, and they will make gardens and get the fruit of them, and I will have them planted in their land, and never again will they be uprooted from their land which I have given them, says the Lord your God. The End of the Book of Amos Recording by Mark Penfold The Book of Obadiah, from the Basic Bible, Old Testament, translated by S. H. Hook. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. The Book of Obadiah The Vision of Obadiah This is what the Lord has said about Edom. We have had word from the Lord, and a representative has been sent among the nations, saying, up, and let us make war against her. See, I have made you small among the nations. You are much looked down on. You have been tricked by the pride of your heart, O oh, you whose living place is in the cracks of the rock, whose house is high up, who has said in his heart, Who will make me come down to earth? Though you go up on high like an eagle, though your house is placed among the stars, I will make you come down from there, says the Lord. If thieves came, attacking you by night, how are you cut off? Would they not go on taking till they had enough? If men came cutting your grapes, would they take them all? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his secret stores looked for? All the men who were united with you have been false to you, driving you out to the edge of the land. The men who were at peace with you have overcome you. They have taken their heritage in your place." Will I not in that day, says the Lord, take away the wise men out of Edom, and wisdom out of the mountain of Esau? And your men of war, O Teman, will be overcome with fear, so that every one of them may be cut off from the mountain of Esau. Because you were the cause of violent death, and because of your cruel behavior to your brother Jacob, you will be covered with shame and will be cut off forever because you were there watching when men from other lands took away his goods, and strange men came into his doors and put the fate of Jerusalem to the decision of chance. You were like one of them. Do not see with pleasure your brother's evil day, the day of his fate, and do not be glad over the children of Judah on the day of their destruction, or make wide your mouth on the day of trouble. Do not go into the doors of my people on the day of their downfall, do not be looking on their trouble with pleasure on the day of their downfall, or put your hands on their goods on the day of their downfall. And do not take your place at the crossroads, cutting off those of his people who get away. And do not give up to their haters those who are still there in the day of trouble. For the day of the Lord is coming quickly on all nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. The reward of your acts will come on your head. For as you have been drinking on my holy mountain, so will all the nations go on drinking without end. They will go on drinking, and the wine will go down their throats, and they will be as if they had never been. But on Mount Zion some will be kept safe, and it will be holy, and the children of Jacob will take their heritage. And the children of Jacob will be a fire, and those of Joseph a flame, and the children of Esau dry stems of grass, burned up by them till all is gone. And there will be no people living in Esau, for the Lord has said it. And they will take the south, and the lowland, and the country of Ephraim, and Gilead as their heritage. 
and those of the children of Israel who were the first to be taken away as prisoners will have their heritage among the Canaanites as far as Zarephath, and those who were taken away from Jerusalem who are in Zepharad will have the towns of the south. And those who have been kept safe will come up from Mount Zion to be judges of the mountain of Esau, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. The End of the Book of Obadiah Recording by Mark Penfold The Book of Jonah from the Basic Bible Old Testament Translated by S. H. Hook This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold Chapter 1 And the word of the Lord came to Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, up, go to Nineveh, that great town, and let your voice come to it, for their evil doing has come up before me. And Jonah got up to go in flight to Tarshish, away from the Lord. And he went down to Joppa, and saw there a ship going to Tarshish. So he gave them the price of the journey, and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the Lord. And the Lord sent out a great wind on to the sea, and there was a violent storm in the sea, so that the ship seemed in danger of being broken. Then the sailors were full of fear, every man crying to his God, and the goods in the ship were dropped out into the sea to make the weight less. But Jonah had gone down into the inmost part of the ship, where he was stretched out in a deep sleep. And the ship's captain came to him and said to him, what are you doing sleeping? Up! Say a prayer to your God, if by chance God will give a thought to us, so that we may not come to destruction. And they said to one another, Come, let us put this to the decision of chance, and see on whose account this evil has come on us. So they did so, and Jonah was seen to be the man. Then they said to him, Now make clear to us what is your work, and where you come from, what is your country, and who are your people. And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, a worshipper of the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. And the men were in great fear, and they said to him, What is this you have done? For the men had knowledge of his flight from the Lord, because he had not kept it from them. And they said to him, What are we to do to you, so that the sea may become calm for us? For the sea was getting rougher and rougher. And he said to them, Take me up, and put me into the sea, and the sea will become calm for you, for I am certain that because of me this great storm has come on you. And the men were working hard to get back to the land, but they were not able to do so, for the sea got rougher and rougher against them. So crying to the Lord, they said, Give ear to our prayer, O Lord, give ear, and do not let destruction overtake us because of this man's life. Do not put on us the sin of taking life without cause, for you, O Lord, have done what seemed good to you. So they took Jonah up and put him into the sea, and the sea was no longer angry. Then great was the men's fear of the Lord, and they made an offering to the Lord and took oaths to him. And the Lord made ready a great fish to take Jonah into its mouth, and Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. Chapter 2 Then Jonah made prayer to the Lord his God from the inside of the fish, and said, in my trouble I was crying to the Lord, and he gave me an answer. Out of the deepest underworld I sent up a cry, and you gave ear to my voice. For you have put me down into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the river was round about me. All your waves and your rolling waters went over me. And I said, I have been sent away from before your eyes. How may I ever again see your holy temple? The waters were circling round me, even to the neck. The deep was about me. The sea-grass was twisted round my head. I went down to the bases of the mountains. As for the earth, her walls were about me forever. But you have taken up my life from the underworld, O Lord my God. When my soul in me was overcome, I kept the memory of the Lord, and my prayer came into you, into your holy temple. The worshippers of false gods have given up their only hope, but I will make an offering to you with the voice of praise. I will give effect to my oaths. Salvation is the Lord's. And at the Lord's order, the fish sent Jonah out of its mouth onto the dry land. Chapter 3 
And the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Up, go to Nineveh, that great town, and give it the word which I have given you. So Jonah got up and went to Nineveh as the Lord had said. Now Nineveh was a very great town, three days' journey from end to end. And Jonah first of all went a day's journey into the town, and crying out, said, In forty days destruction will overtake Nineveh. And the people of Nineveh had belief in God. And a time was fixed for going without food, and they put on haircloth from the greatest to the least. And the word came to the king of Nineveh, and he got up from his seat of authority, and took off his robe, and covering himself with haircloth, took his seat in the dust. And he had it given out in Nineveh. By the order of the king and his great men, no man or beast, herd or flock, is to have a taste of anything. Let them have no food or water, and let man and beast be covered with haircloth, and let them make strong prayers to God, and let every one be turned from his evil way and the violent acts of their hands. Who may say that God will not be turned, changing his purpose and turning away from his burning wrath, so that destruction may not overtake us? And God saw what they did, how they were turned from their evil way. And God's purpose was changed as to the evil which he said he would do to them. And he did it not. Chapter 4 But this seemed very wrong to Jonah, and he was angry. And he made prayer to the Lord, and said, O oh Lord, is this not what I said when I was still in my country? This is why I took care to go in flight to Tarshish, for I was certain that you were a loving God, full of pity, slow to be angry and great in mercy, and ready to be turned from your purpose of evil. So now, O oh Lord, give ear to my prayer and take my life from me, for death is better for me than life. And the Lord said, Have you any right to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the town, and took his seat on the east side of the town, and made himself a roof of branches, and took his seat under its shade, till he saw what would become of the town. And the Lord God made a vine come up over Jonah to give him shade over his head, and Jonah was very glad because of the vine. But early on the morning after, God made ready a worm for the destruction of the vine, and it became dry and dead. Then when the sun came up, God sent a burning east wind, and so great was the heat of the sun on his head that Jonah was overcome, and requesting death for himself, said, Death is better for me than life. And the Lord said to Jonah, Have you any right to be angry about the vine? And he said, I have a right to be truly angry. And the Lord said, You had pity on the vine, for which you did no work, and for the growth of which you were not responsible, which came up in a night, and came to an end in a night. And am I not to have mercy on Nineveh, that great town, in which there are more than a hundred and twenty thousand persons without the power of judging between right and left, as well as much cattle? The End of the Book of Jonah Recording by Mark Penfold The Book of Micah, from the Basic Bible, Old Testament, translated by S. H. Hook. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 1 The word of the Lord which came to Micah the Merashtite in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, his vision about Samaria and Jerusalem. Give ear, you peoples, all of you, Give attention, O earth, and everything in it. Let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. For see, the Lord is coming out from his place, and will come down, stepping on the high places of the earth. And the mountains will be turned to water under him, and the deep valleys will be broken open like wax before the fire, like waters flowing down a slope. All this is because of the wrongdoing of Jacob and the sins of the children of Israel. What is the wrongdoing of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? So I will make Samaria into a field, and the plantings of a vine garden. I will send its stones falling down into the valley, uncovering its bases. 
and all her pictured images will be hammered into bits, and all the payments for her loose ways will be burned with fire, and all the images of her gods I will make waste, for with the price of a loose woman she got them together, and as the price of a loose woman will they be given back. For this I will be full of sorrow and give cries of grief, I will go uncovered and unclothed, I will give cries of grief like the jackals, and will be in sorrow like the ostriches, for her wounds may not be made well. For it has come even to Judah, stretching up to the doorway of my people, even to Jerusalem. Give no word of it in Gath, let there be no weeping at all. In Bethlehaphra be rolling in the dust. Be uncovered and go away, you who are living in Shafir. The one living in Za'anan has not come out of her town. Beth Ezel is taken away from its base, even from its resting place. For the one living in Maroth is waiting for good, for evil has come down from the Lord to the doorways of Jerusalem. Let the war carriage be yoked to the quick running horse, you who are living in Lachish. She was the first cause of sin to the daughter of Zion, for the wrongdoings of Israel were seen in you. For this cause give a parting offering to Moresheth Gath, the daughter of Aksib will be a deceit to the king of Israel. Even now will the taker of your heritage come to you, you who are living in Maresha. The glory of Israel will come to destruction forever. Let your head be uncovered, and your hair cut off in sorrow for the children of your delight. Let the hair be pulled from your head like an eagle's, for they have been taken away from you as prisoners. Chapter 2 a curse on the designers of evil, working on their beds. In the morning light they do it because it is in their power. They have a desire for fields and take them by force, and for houses and take them away. They are cruel to a man and his family, even to a man and his heritage. For this cause the Lord has said, See, against this family I am purposing an evil from which you will not be able to take your necks away, and you will be weighed down by it for it is an evil time. In that day this saying will be said about you, and this song of grief will be made. The heritage of my people is measured out, and there is no one to give it back. Those who have made us prisoners have taken our fields from us, and complete destruction has come to us. For this cause you will have no one to make the decision by the measuring line in the meeting of the Lord. Let not words like these be dropped, they say. Shame and the curse will not come to the family of Jacob. Is the Lord quickly made angry? Are these his doings? Do not his words do good to his people Israel? As for you, you have become haters of those who are at peace with you. You take the clothing of those who go by without fear and make them prisoners of war. The women of my people you have been driving away from their dearly loved children. From their young ones you are taking my glory forever. Up and go! For this is not your rest, because it has been made unclean, the destruction ordered will come on you. If a man came with a false spirit of deceit, saying, I will be a prophet to you of wine and strong drink, he would be the sort of prophet for this people. I will certainly make all of you, O Jacob, come together. I will get together the rest of Israel. I will put them together like the sheep in their circle, like a flock in their green field. They will be full of the noise of men." The opener of the way will go up before them. Forcing their way out, they will go on to the doorway and out through it. Their king will go on before them, and the Lord at their head. Chapter 3 And I said, Give ear now, you heads of Jacob and rulers of the people of Israel. Is it not for you to have knowledge of what is right? You who are haters of good and lovers of evil, pulling off their skin from them and their flesh from their bones. Like meat they take the flesh of my people for their food, skinning them and crushing their bones, yes, cutting them up as if for the pot, like flesh inside the cooking pot. Then they will be crying to the Lord for help, but he will not give them an answer. Yes, he will keep his face veiled from them at that time, because their acts have been evil. This is what the Lord has said about the prophets by whom my people have been turned from the right way, who, biting with their teeth, say, Peace! and if anyone puts nothing in their mouths, they make ready for war against him. For this cause it will be night for you, without a vision, and it will be dark for you, without knowledge of the future. The sun will go down over the prophets, and the day will be black over them. 
and the seers will be shamed, and the readers of the future will be at a loss, all of them covering their lips, for there is no answer from God. But I truly am full of the Spirit of the Lord, with power of judging and with strength to make clear to Jacob his wrongdoing, and to Israel his sin. Then give ear to this, you heads of the children of Jacob, you rulers of the children of Israel, hating what is right, twisting what is straight. They are building up Zion with blood, and Jerusalem with evil doing. Its heads take rewards for judging, and the priests take payment for teaching, and the prophets get silver for reading the future. But still, supporting themselves on the Lord, they say, Is not the Lord among us? No evil will overtake us. For this reason, Zion will be plowed like a field because of you, and Jerusalem will become a mass of broken walls, and the mountain of the house like a high place in the woods. Chapter 4 But in the last days it will come about that the mountain of the Lord's house will be placed on the top of the mountains, and be lifted up over the hills, and peoples will be flowing to it. And a number of nations will go and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will give us knowledge of his ways, and we will be guided by his word. For from Zion the law will go out, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he will be judge between great peoples, and strong nations far away will be ruled by his decisions. Their swords will be hammered into plow blades, and their spears into vine knives. Nations will no longer be lifting up their swords against one another, and knowledge of war will have gone forever. But every man will be seated under his vine and under his fig tree, and no one will be a cause of fear to them, for the mouth of the Lord of armies has said it. For all the peoples will be walking, every one in the name of his God, and we will be walking in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. In that day, says the Lord, I will get together her who goes with uncertain steps, I will get together her who has been sent away, and her on whom I have sent evil. And I will make her whose steps were uncertain a small band, and her who was feeble a strong nation. And the Lord will be their king in Mount Zion from now and forever. And you, O tower of the flock, O fell of the daughter of Zion, to you it will come, even the earlier authority, the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem. Now why are you crying so loudly? Is there no king in you? Has destruction come on your wise helper? so that pains have taken you like the pains of a woman in childbirth. Be in pain, make sounds of grief, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in childbirth. For now you will go out of the town, living in the open country, and will come even to Babylon. There you will have salvation. There the Lord will make you free from the hands of your haters. And now a number of nations have come together against you, and they say, let her be made unclean, and let our eyes see the fate of Zion. But they have no knowledge of the thoughts of the Lord. Their minds are not able to see his purpose, for he has got them together like stems of grain to the crushing floor. Up, and let the grain be crushed, O daughter of Zion, for I will make your horn iron and your feet brass, and a number of peoples will be broken by you, and you will give up their increase to the Lord, and their wealth to the Lord of all the earth. Chapter 5 Now you will give yourselves deep wounds for grief. They will put up a wall round us. They will give the judge of Israel a blow on the face with a rod. And you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, the least among the families of Judah, out of you one will come to me who is to be ruler in Israel, whose going out has been purposed from time past, from the eternal days. For this cause he will give them up till the time when she who is with child has given birth then the rest of his brothers will come back to the children of Israel, and he will take his place and give food to his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the glory of the name of the Lord his God, and their resting place will be safe, for now he will be great to the ends of the earth. And this will be our peace. When the Assyrian comes into our country, and his feet are in our land, then we will put up against him seven keepers of the flocks and eight chiefs among men and they will make waste to the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nimrod with the edge of the sword. He will give us salvation from the Assyrian when he comes into our country, when his feet come inside the limit of our land, 
and the rest of Jacob will be among the mass of peoples like dew from the Lord, like showers on the grass, which may not be kept back by man, or be waiting for the sons of men. And the rest of Jacob will be among the nations, in the middle of the mass of peoples, like a lion among the beasts of the woods, like a young lion among the flocks of sheep. If he goes through, they will be crushed underfoot and pulled to bits, and there will be no savior. Your hand is lifted up against those who are against you, and all your haters will be cut off. And it will come about in that day, says the Lord, that I will take away your horses from you, and will give your war carriages to destruction. I will have the towns of your land cut off, and all your strong places pulled down. I will put an end to your use of secret arts, and you will have no more readers of signs. And I will have your images and your pillars cut off from you, and you will no longer give worship to the work of your hands. I will have your Asherahs pulled up from among you, and I will send destruction on your images, and my punishment will be effected on the nations with such burning wrath as they have not had word of. Chapter 6 Give ear now to the words of the Lord. Up, put forward your cause before the mountains. Let your voice be sounding among the hills. Give ear, O you mountains, to the Lord's cause, and take note, you bases of the earth. For the Lord has a cause against his people, and he will take it up with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? How have I been a wariness to you? Give answer against me. For I took you up out of the land of Egypt and made you free from the prison house. I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O my people, keep in mind now what was designed by Balak king of Moab, and the answer which Balaam son of Beor gave him the events from Shittim to Gilgal, so that you may be certain of the upright acts of the Lord. With what am I to come before the Lord, and go with bent head before the high God? Am I to come before him with burned offerings, with young oxen a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of sheep, or with ten thousand rivers of oil? Am I to give my first child for my wrongdoing, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has made clear to you, O man, what is good, and what is desired from you by the Lord. Only doing what is right, and loving mercy, and walking without pride before your God. The voice of the Lord is crying out to the town, Give ear, you tribes, and the meeting of the town. For its men of wealth are cruel, and its people have said what is not true, and their tongue is false in their mouth. Am I to let the stories of the evildoer go out of my memory, and the short measure which is cursed? Is it possible for me to let wrong scales and the bag of false weights go without punishment? So I have made a start with your punishment. I have made you waste because of your sins. You will have food, but not enough. Your shame will be ever with you. You will get your goods moved, but you will not take them away safely. And what you do take away, I will give to the sword." You will put in seed, but you will not get in the grain. You will be crushing olives, but your bodies will not be rubbed with the oil. And you will get in the grapes, but you will have no wine. For you have kept the laws of Omri and all the works of the family of Ahab, and you have been guided by their designs, so that I might make you a cause of wonder, and your people a cause of hisses, and the shame of my people will be on you. Chapter 7 Sorrow is mine, for I am as when they have got in the summer fruits like the last of the grapes. There is nothing for food, not even an early fig for my desire. The good man is gone from the earth. There is no one upright among men. They are all waiting secretly for blood. Every man is going after his brother with a net. Their hands are made ready to do evil. The ruler makes requests for money, and the judge is looking for a reward." and the great man gives decisions at his pleasure, and the right is twisted. The best of them is like a waste plant, and their upright ones are like a wall of thorns. Sorrow! The day of their fate has come. Now will trouble come on them. Put no faith in a friend. Do not let your hope be placed in a relation. Keep watch on the doors of your mouth against her who is resting on your breast. For the son puts shame on his father, the daughter goes against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's haters are those of his family. But as for me, I am looking to the Lord, I am waiting for the God of my salvation, the ears of my God will be open to me. Do not be glad because of my sorrow, O my hater. After my fall, I will be lifted up, 
When I am seated in the dark, the Lord will be a light to me. I will undergo the wrath of the Lord because of my sin against him, till he takes up my cause and does what is right for me. When he makes me come out into the light, I will see his righteousness, and my hater will see it and be covered with shame. She who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? My eyes will see their desire affected on her. Now she will be crushed underfoot like the dust of the streets. A day for building your walls. In that day will your limits be stretched far and wide. In that day they will come to you from Assyria and the towns of Egypt, and from Egypt even to the river, and from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain. But the land will become a waste because of its people, as the fruit of their works. Keep your people safe with your rod, the flock of your heritage, living by themselves in the woods in the middle of Carmel. Let them get their food in Bashan and Gilead as in the past, as in the days when you came out from the land of Egypt. Let us see things of wonder. The nations will see and be shamed because of all their strength. They will put their hands on their mouths. Their ears will be stopped. They will take dust as their food like a snake, like the things which go flat on the earth. They will come shaking with fear out of their secret places. They will come with fear to the Lord our God, full of fear because of you. Who is a God like you, offering forgiveness for evildoing and overlooking the sins of the rest of his heritage? He does not keep his wrath forever, because his delight is in mercy. He will again have pity on us. He will put our sins under his feet, and you will send all our sins down into the heart of the sea. You will make clear your good faith to Jacob and your mercy to Abraham as you gave your oath to our fathers from times long past. The End of the Book of Micah Recording by Mark Penfold The Books of Nahum and Habakkuk from the Basic Bible, Old Testament this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold The Book of Nahum Chapter 1 The Word About Nineveh The Book of the Vision of Nahum the Elkishite The Lord is a God who takes care of his honor and gives punishment for wrong. The Lord gives punishment and is angry. The Lord sends punishment on those who are against him being angry with his haters. The Lord is slow to get angry and great in power, and will not let the sinner go without punishment. The way of the Lord is in the wind and the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He says sharp words to the sea and makes it dry, drying up all the rivers. Bashan is feeble, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon is without strength. The mountains are shaking because of him, and the hills flowing away. The earth is falling to bits before him, the world and all who are in it. Who may keep his place before his wrath, and who may undergo the heat of his passion? His wrath is let loose like fire, and the rocks are broken open by him. The Lord is good, a strong place in the day of trouble, and he has knowledge of those who take him for their safe cover. But like water overflowing, he will take them away. He will put an end to those who come up against him, driving his haters into the dark. What are you designing against the Lord? He will put an end to it. His haters will not come up again a second time. For though they are like twisted thorns, and are overcome as with drink, they will come to destruction like stems of grass fully dry. One has gone out from you who is designing evil against the Lord, whose purposes are of no value. This is what the Lord has said. The days of my cause against you are ended. They are cut off and past. Though I have sent trouble on you, you will no longer be troubled. And now I will let his yoke be broken off you, and your chains be parted. The Lord has given an order about you, that no more of your name are to be planted. From the house of your gods I will have the pictured and metal images cut off. I will make your last resting place a place of shame, for you are completely evil. See on the mountains the feet of him who comes with good news, giving word of peace. Keep your feasts, O Judah, give effect to your oaths. 
for the good-for-nothing man will never again go through you. He is completely cut off. Chapter 2 A crusher has come up before your face. Keep a good lookout. Let the way be watched. Make yourself strong. Let your power be greatly increased. For the Lord will make good the vine of Jacob as well as the vine of Israel. For the wasters have made them waste and sent destruction on the branches of their vine. The body covers of his fighting men have been made red. The men of war are clothed in bright red. The war carriages are like flames of fire in the day when he gets ready. The horses are shaking. The war carriages are rushing through the streets, pushing against one another in the wide ways, looking like burning lights, running like thunder flames. He takes the record of his great men. They go falling on their way. They go quickly to the wall. The cover is made ready. The river doorways are forced open, and the king's house is flowing away. And the queen is uncovered. She is taken away, and her servant girls are weeping like the sound of doves hammering on their breasts. But Nineveh is like a pool of water whose waters are flowing away. Keep your place, they say, but no one is turning back. Take silver, take gold, for there is no end to the store. Take for yourselves a weight of things to be desired. Everything has been taken from her. All is gone. She has nothing more. The heart is turned to water. The knees are shaking. All are twisted in pain, and color has gone from all faces. Where is the lion's hole, the place where the young lions got their food, where the lion and the she-lion were walking with their young without cause for fear? Food enough for his young and for his she-lions was pulled down by the lion. His hole was full of flesh and his resting place stored with meat. See, I am against you, says the Lord of armies, and I will have your war carriages burned in the smoke and your young lions will be food for the sword. You will no longer get your food by force on the earth, and the voice of your she-lions will be stopped forever. Chapter 3 A curse is on the town of blood. It is full of deceit and violent acts, and there is no end to the taking of life. The noise of the whip and the noise of thundering wheels, horses rushing and war carriages jumping, horsemen driving forward and the shining sword and the bright spear and a great number of wounded, and masses of dead bodies. They are falling over the bodies of the dead, because of all the false ways of the loose woman, expert in attraction and wise in secret arts, who takes nations in the net of her false ways, and families through her secret arts. See, I am against you, says the Lord of Armies, and I will have your skirts pulled over your face, and let the nations see you unclothed, and the kingdoms your shame. I will make you completely disgusting and full of shame, and will put you up to be looked at by all, and it will come about that all who see you will go in flight from you and say, Nineveh is made waste, who will be weeping for her? Where am I to get comforters for her? Are you better than Noaman, seated on the Nile streams with waters all round her, whose wall was the sea and her earthwork the waters? Ethiopia was her strength, and Egyptians without number. Put and Lubim were her helpers. But even she has been taken away. She has gone away as a prisoner. Even her young children are smashed to bits at the top of all the streets. The fate of her honored men is put to the decision of chance, and all her great men are put in chains. And you will be overcome with wine. You will become feeble. You will be looking for a safe place from those who are fighting against you. All your walled places will be like fig trees, and your people like the first figs, falling at a shake into the mouth which is open for them. See, the people who are in you are women. The doorways of your land are wide open to your attackers. The locks of your doors have been burned away in the fire. Get water for the time when you are shut in. Make strong your towns. Go into the potter's earth, stamping it down with your feet. Make strong the brickworks. There the fire will make you waste. You will be cut off by the sword. Make yourself as great in number as the worms, as great in number as the locusts. Let your traders be increased more than the stars of heaven. 
Your crowned ones are like the locusts, and your scribes like the clouds of insects, which take cover in the walls on a cold day. But when the sun comes up, they go in flight, and are seen no longer in their place. Sorrow! How are the keepers of your flock sleeping, O king of Assyria? Your strong men are at rest, your people are wandering on the mountains, and there is no one to get them together. Your pain may not be made better. You are wounded to death. All those hearing the news about you will be waving their hands in joy over you. For who has not undergone the weight of your evil doing again and again? The End of the Book of Nahum The Book of Habakkuk Chapter 1 The Word Which Habakkuk the Prophet Saw how long, O Lord, will your ears be shut to my voice? I make an outcry to you about violent behavior, but you do not send salvation. Why do you make me see evil doing, and why are my eyes fixed on wrong? For wasting and violent acts are before me, and there is fighting and bitter argument. For this reason the law is feeble and decisions are not effected. For the upright man is circled round by evil doers, because of which right is twisted. See among the nations, and take note, and be full of wonder. For in your days I am doing a work in which you will have no belief, even if news of it is given to you. For see, I am sending the Chaldeans, that bitter and quick-moving nation, who go through the wide spaces of the earth to get for themselves living places which are not theirs. They are greatly to be feared. Their right comes from themselves." and their horses are quicker than leopards, and their horsemen more cruel than evening wolves. They come from far away, like an eagle in flight rushing on its food. They are coming, all of them, with force. The direction of their faces is forward. The number of their prisoners is like the sands of the sea. He makes little of kings. Rulers are a sport to him. All the strong places are to be laughed at, for he makes earthworks and takes them. Then his purpose will be changed, overstepping the limit. He will make his strength his God. Are you not eternal, O Lord my God, my Holy One? For you there is no death. O Lord, he has been ordered by you for our punishment, and by you, O Rock, he has been marked out to put us right. Before your holy eyes sin may not be seen, and you are unable to put up with wrong. Why, then, are your eyes on the false? Why do you say nothing when the evildoer puts an end to one who is more upright than himself? He has made men like the fishes of the sea, like the worms which have no ruler over them. He takes them all up with his hook. He takes them in his net, getting them together in his fishing net, for which cause he is glad and full of joy. For this reason he makes an offering to his net, burning perfume to his fishing net, because by them he gets much food, and his meat is fat. For this cause his net is ever open, and there is no end to his destruction of the nations. Chapter 2 I will take my position and be on watch, placing myself on my tower, looking out to see what he will say to me, and what answer he will give to my protest. And the Lord gave me an answer, and said, Put the vision in writing, and make it clear on stones, so that the reader may go quickly. For the vision is still for the fixed time, and it is moving quickly to the end, and it will not be false. Even if it is slow in coming, go on waiting for it, because it will certainly come, it will not be kept back. As for the pride of man, my soul has no pleasure in him, but the upright man will have life through his good faith." A curse on the cruel and false one, the man full of pride who never has enough, who makes his desires wide as the underworld. He is like death, he is never full, but he makes all nations come to him, getting all peoples together to himself. Will not all these take up a word of shame against him, and a bitter saying against him, and say, A curse on him who goes on taking what is not his, and is weighted down with the property of debtors? Will not your creditors suddenly be moved against you, and your troublers get up from their sleep, and you will be to them like goods taken in war? Because you have taken their goods from great nations, 
all the rest of the peoples will take your goods from you, because of men's blood and violent acts against the land and the town and all who are living in it. A curse on him who gets evil profits for his family, so that he may put his resting place on high and be safe from the hand of the wrongdoer. You have been a cause of shame to your house by cutting off a number of peoples and sinning against your soul. For the stone will give a cry out of the wall, and it will be answered by the board out of the woodwork. A curse on him who is building a place with blood and basing a town on evil doing. See, is it not the pleasure of the Lord of armies that the peoples are working for the fire and using themselves up for nothing? For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the sea is covered by the waters. A curse on him who gives his neighbor the wine of his wrath, making him overcome with strong drink from the cup of his passion, so that you may be a witness of their shame. You are full of shame in place of glory. Take your part in the drinking, and let your shame be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand will come round to you, and your glory will be covered with shame. For the violent acts against Lebanon will come on you, and the destruction of the cattle will be a cause of fear to you, because of men's blood and the violent acts against the land and the town and all who are living in it. What profit is the pictured image to its maker? And as for the metal image, the false teacher, why does its maker put his faith in it, making false gods without a voice? A curse on him who says to the wood, Awake! to the unbreathing stone, up, let it be a teacher. See, it is plated with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all inside it. But the Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth be quiet before him. Chapter 3 A Prayer of Habakkuk the Prophet Put to Shagionoth O Lord, word of you has come to my ears. I have seen your work, O Lord. When the years come near, make it clear. In wrath, keep mercy in mind. God came from Teman, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. Selah. The heavens were covered with his glory, and the earth was full of his praise. He was shining like the light. He had rays coming out from his hand. There his power was kept secret. Before him went disease, and flames went out at his feet. From his high place he sent shaking on the earth. He saw, and nations were suddenly moved, and the eternal mountains were broken. The unchanging hills were bent down. His ways are eternal. The curtains of Kushan were troubled, and the tents of Midian were shaking. Was your wrath burning against the rivers? Were you angry with the sea, that you went on your horses, on your war carriages of salvation? Your bow was quite uncovered. Selah. By you the earth was cut through with rivers. The mountains saw you and were moved with fear. The clouds were streaming with water. The voice of the deep was sounding. The sun did not come up, and the moon kept still in her place. At the light of your arrows they went away, at the shining of your polished spear. You went stepping through the land in wrath, crushing the nations in your passion. You went out for the salvation of your people, for the salvation of the one on whom your holy oil was put, wounding the head of the family of the evildoer, uncovering the base even to the neck. Selah! You have put your spears through his head, his horsemen were sent in flight like dry stems, they had joy in driving away the poor, in making a meal of them secretly. The feet of your horses were on the sea, on the mass of great waters. Hearing it, my inner parts were moved, and my lips were shaking at the sound. My bones became feeble, and my steps were uncertain under me. I gave sounds of grief in the day of trouble, when his forces came up against the people in bands. For though the fig tree has no flowers, and there is no fruit on the vine, and work on the olive comes to nothing, and the fields give no food, and the flock is cut off from its resting place, and there is no herd in the cattle house, still I will be glad in the Lord. My joy will be in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he makes my feet like rose feet, guiding me on my high places." 
for the chief music maker on corded instruments. The end of the book of Habakkuk. The end of the books of Nahum and Habakkuk. Recording by Mark Penfold. The Books of Zephaniah and Haggai from the Basic Bible, Old Testament, translated by S. H. Hook. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. The Book of Zephaniah, Chapter 1. The Word of the Lord which came to Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. I will take away everything from the face of the earth, says the Lord. I will take away man and beast. I will take away the birds of the heaven and the fishes of the sea, causing the downfall of the evildoers, and cutting man off from the face of the earth, says the Lord. And my hand will be stretched out on Judah and on all the people of Jerusalem, cutting off the name of the Baal from this place, and the name of the false priests, and the worshippers of the army of heaven on the housetops, and the Lord's worshippers who take oaths by Milcom, and those who are turned back from going after the Lord, and those who have not made prayer to the Lord or got directions from him. Let there be no sound before the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is near. For the Lord has made ready an offering, he has made his guests holy, and it will come about in the day of the Lord's offering, that I will send punishment on the rulers, and the king's sons, and all who are clothed in robes from strange lands. And in that day I will send punishment on all those who come jumping over the doorstep, and make their master's house full of violent behavior and deceit. And in that day, says the Lord, there will be the sound of a cry from the fish doorway, and an outcry from the new town, and a great thundering from the hills, and cries of grief from the people of the hollow, because of the downfall of all the people of Canaan. All those who were weighted down with silver have been cut off. And it will come about at that time that I will go searching through Jerusalem with lights, and I will send punishment on the men who have become like wine stored over long, who say to themselves, the Lord will not do good, and will not do evil. And their wealth will be violently taken away, and their houses will be made waste. They will go on building houses, and never living in them, and planting vine gardens, but not drinking the wine from them. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near, and coming very quickly. The bitter day of the Lord is near, coming on more quickly than a man of war. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and sorrow, a day of wasting and destruction, a day of dark night and deep shade, a day of cloud and thick dark, a day of sounding the horn and the war cry against the walled towns and the high towers. And I will send trouble on men so that they will go about like the blind, because they have done evil against the Lord, and their blood will be drained out like dust and their strength like waste. Even their silver and their gold will not be able to keep them safe in the day of the Lord's wrath. But all the land will be burned up in the fire of his bitter wrath, for he will put an end, even suddenly, to all who are living in the land. Chapter 2 Come together, make everyone come together, O nation without shame, before the Lord sends you violently away in flight like the waste from the grain. Before the burning wrath of the Lord comes on you, before the day of the Lord's wrath comes on you, make search for the Lord, all you quiet ones of the earth who have done what is right in his eyes. Make search for righteousness and a quiet heart. It may be that you will be safely covered in the day of the Lord's wrath. For Gaza will be given up, and Ashkelon will become waste. They will send Ashdod out in the middle of the day, and Ekron will be uprooted. Sorrow to the people living by the sea, the nation of the Carathites. The word of the Lord is against you, O Canaan, the land of the Philistines. I will send destruction on you till there is no one living in you, and the land by the sea will be grassland, with houses for keepers of sheep and walled places for flocks. The land by the sea will be for the rest of the children of Judah. By the sea they will give their flocks food. In the houses of Ashkelon they will take their rest in the evening. For the Lord their God will take them in hand, and their fate will be changed. 
My ears have been opened to the bitter words of Moab, and the words of shame of the children of Ammon, which they have said against my people, lifting themselves up against the limit of their land. For this cause, by my life, says the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, truly Moab will become like Sodom, and the children of Ammon like Gomorrah, given up to waste plants and salt pools, and unpeopled forever. The rest of my people will take their property, the overflow of my nation will take their heritage. This will be their fate because of their pride, because they have said evil, lifting themselves up against the people of the Lord of armies. The Lord will let himself be seen by them, for he will make all the gods of the earth feeble, and men will go down before him in worship, every one from his place, even all the sea lands of the nations. And you Ethiopians will be put to death by my sword and his hand will be stretched out against the north for the destruction of Assyria, and he will make Nineveh unpeopled and dry like the wasteland, and herds will take their rest in the middle of her, all the beasts of the valley. The pelican and the porcupine will make their living places on the tops of its pillars. The owl will be crying in the window. The raven will be seen on the doorstep. This is the town which was full of joy, living without fear of danger, saying in her heart, I am, and there is no other. How has she been made waste, a place for beasts to take their rest in? Everyone who goes by her will make hisses, waving his hand. Chapter 3 Sorrow to her who is uncontrolled and unclean, the cruel town! She gave no attention to the voice. She had no use for teaching. She put no faith in the Lord. She did not come near to her God. Her rulers are like loud-voiced lions in her. Her judges are wolves of the evening, crushing up the bones before the morning. Her prophets are good-for-nothing persons, full of deceit. Her priests have made the holy place unclean and have gone violently against the law. The Lord in her is upright. He will not do evil. Every morning he lets his righteousness be seen. He is unchanging. But the evildoer has no sense of shame. I have had the nations cut off. Their towers are broken down. I have made their streets a waste so that no one goes through them. Destruction has overtaken their towns so that there is no man living in them. I said, Certainly you will go in fear of me and come under my training so that whatever I may send on her may not be cut off before her eyes. But they got up early and made all their works evil. For this reason, go on waiting for me, says the Lord, till the day when I come up as a witness. For my purpose is to send for the nations, and to get the kingdoms together, so that I may let loose on them my passion, even all my burning wrath. For all the earth will be burned up in the fire of my bitter passion. For then I will give the people a clean language, so that they may all make prayer to the Lord, and be his servants with one mind. From over the rivers of Ethiopia and from the sides of the north they will come to me with an offering. In that day you will have no shame on account of all the things in which you did evil against me, for then I will take away from among you those who were lifted up in pride, and you will no longer be lifted up with pride in my holy mountain. But I will still have among you a quiet and poor people, and they will put their faith in the name of the Lord." The rest of Israel will do no evil and say no false words. The tongue of deceit will not be seen in their mouth, for they will take their food and their rest, and no one will be a cause of fear to them. Make melody, O daughter of Zion. Give a loud cry, O Israel. Be glad and let your heart be full of joy, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away those who were judging you. He has sent your haters far away. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is among you. You will have no more fear of evil. In that day it will be said to Jerusalem, Have no fear. O Zion, let not your hands be feeble. The Lord your God is among you as a strong Savior. He will be glad over you with joy. He will make his love new again. He will make a song of joy over you as in the time of a holy feast. I will take away your troubles, lifting up your shame from off you. See, at that time I will put an end to all who have been troubling you. I will give salvation to her whose steps are uncertain, and get together her who has been sent in flight. And I will make them a cause of praise and an honored name in all the earth, when I let their fate be changed.
At that time I will make you come in. At that time I will get you together. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the peoples of the earth when I let your fate be changed before your eyes, says the Lord. The End of the Book of Zephaniah The Book of Haggai Chapter 1 in the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, ruler of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying, These are the words of the Lord of armies. These people say, The time has not come for building the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, is it a time for you to be living in roofed houses while this house is a waste? For this cause the Lord of armies has said, Give thought to your ways. Much has been planted, but little got in. You take food, but have not enough. You take drink, but are not full. You are clothed, but no one is warm. And he who gets payment for his work gets it to put it into a bag full of holes. This is what the Lord of armies has said. Give thought to your ways. Go up to the hills and get wood and put up the house, and I will take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You were looking for much, and it came to little, and when you got it into your house, I took it away with a breath. Why, says the Lord of armies, because of my house which is a waste, while every man takes care of the house which is his. For this cause, the heaven over you is kept from giving dew, and the earth from giving her fruit. And by my order, no rain came on the land, or on the mountains, or the grain, or the wine, or the oil, or the produce of the earth, or on men, or cattle, or on any work of man's hands. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest, and all the rest of the people, gave ear to the voice of the Lord their God, and to the words of Haggai the prophet, because the Lord their God had sent him, and the people were in fear before the Lord. Then Haggai, whom the Lord had sent to give his words to the people, said, I am with you, says the Lord. And the spirit of Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, ruler of Judah, was moved by the Lord as was the spirit of Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest, and the spirit of all the rest of the people. And they came and did work in the house of the Lord of armies, their God, on the twenty-fourth day of the month, in the sixth month, in the second year of Darius the king. Chapter 2 In the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Say now to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, ruler of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest, and to the rest of the people, Who is there still among you who saw this house in its first glory, and how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes as nothing? But now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua son of Jehozadak the high priest, and be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord. And get to work, for I am with you, says the Lord of armies. The agreement which I made with you when you came out of Egypt and my spirit are with you still. Have no fear, for this is what the Lord of armies has said. In a short time I will make a shaking of the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will make a shaking of all the nations, and the desired things of all nations will come. And I will make this house full of my glory, says the Lord of armies. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of armies. The second glory of this house will be greater than the first, says the Lord of armies. And in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of armies. On the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, these are the words of the Lord of armies. Put now a point of law to the priests, saying, If any one has some holy flesh folded in the skirt of his robe, will bread or soup or wine or oil or any other food be made holy if touched by his skirt? And the priests answering said, No. Then Haggai said, 
Will any of these be made unclean by the touch of one who is unclean through touching a dead body? And the priests answering said, It will be made unclean. Then Haggai said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, says the Lord, and so is every work of their hands, and the offering they give there is unclean. And now give thought, looking back from this day to the time before one stone was put on another in the temple of the Lord. How, when any one came to a store of twenty measures, there were only ten? When any one went to the wine store to get fifty vessels full, there were only twenty? And I sent burning and wasting and a rain of ice drops on all the works of your hands. But still you were not turned to me, says the Lord. And now give thought. Looking on from this day, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, from the time when the base of the Lord's house was put in its place, give thought to it. Is the seed still in the storehouse? Have the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree still not given their fruit? From this day I will send my blessing on you. And the word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai on the twenty-fourth day of the month, saying, Say to Zerubbabel, ruler of Judah, I will make a shaking of the heavens and the earth, overturning the power of kingdoms, and I will send destruction on the strength of the kingdoms of the nations. By me war carriages will be overturned with those who are in them, and the horses and the horsemen will come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, says the Lord of armies, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, says the Lord and will make you as a jeweled ring. For I have taken you to be mine, says the Lord of Armies. The End of the Book of Haggai And The End of the Books of Zephaniah and Haggai Recording by Mark Penfold